Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a yarn haul video at Hobby Lobby, as you can see there. First off, I want to tell you, if you hear my son in the background, I apologize. He's having a good time in his room, so that's him if you hear him. So, and also, if you haven't checked our Instagram page, make sure you check us out. We are, ding, there you go, at Yarn is a Second Language on Instagram. So, first thing we saw when we walked in in the yarn section was some Crafter's Secret. Everything was 30% off, as you can see there. And as you can also see, I had a hard time getting my camera to focus, but I do fix it in about three, two, one, boom, focused. Now it's focused. So as you can see there, you get tons of yarn for only $9.99. And with that 30% off, my opinion, that's a good deal. So our first aisle we went through, we had this um, Baby B line, and um, this is a Hobby Lobby brand, and they were really pushing it there, and rightfully so because one, I really liked all their yarn. It was, it, it just felt and looked great. They had tons of different colors, um, and the prices were great. So. I was very impressed. I'm um, definitely, I don't really shop much at Hobby Lobby, but I think after seeing this, I may have to visit them more often. As you can see there, there you get 377 yards of yarn for, I think that was in the $5 range, or, I believe. But they had really good deals, and plus with 30% off at the time that I went, I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. So there's a Lion brand and their ice cream line and so basically there was too much for me to go through in one shot and i did not have miss nikki there either so i just kind of got what caught my eye and that's what i decided to show you all so we will definitely need to go back probably after christmas um see if the deals change or anything but it was just too much for me to go through by myself so we're just hitting the highlights of what caught my eye. Um, as you can see, they had tons and tons of different colors and designs in that Baby B line. So this one here that I'm picking up, I actually bought about four of them. Um, so I'm looking forward to making some of that. And if you don't mind, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe. Boom, there you go. Please subscribe, um, it really helps us out a lot and we look forward to bringing you guys more content in the very near future. So, back to the yarn. So as you can see, tons of different colors. Um, this one right here was incredibly soft. I mean, it was very soft. That would be perfect for a baby blanket. And those colors are pretty cool too. So as you can see here, um, this is their cotton yarn that they have. And um, again, great value. I mean, that's quite a bit, let's see, 335 yards. And I believe, uh, yeah, 5.99 was the price. Plus, don't forget, all my frugal people at 30% off goes a long way for me. So uh, they had different colors and different designs. Now I did have a um, viewer comment on the yarn with the metallic kind of sparkle. And we both agreed that Big Twist was our favorite to work with. But as I was going through this Hobby Lobby, I saw several and we'll see it here in a little bit. One was actually by I Love This Yarn. And comment down below, let me know if you work with it and if it how it compares to big twist and i'll mention again
never seems to disappoint. at that that was gorgeous i ended up buying some of this and i really look forward to making something out of it no idea what i'm gonna make yet but i just love that and that may be a pain in my butt to work with i don't know so i've never worked with that style of yarn before but i look forward to making something out of it so we are walking down we're done with those two row or that one row of yarn and turn in the corner there and we've got some crafter secret i believe this is their cotton yes yes it is this is their cotton yarn and uh again tons of colors every color you can really think of let's see the price for 229 how much do you get let's see you get about 95 yards so pretty standard and I don't know about you right now it's uh, December um, as I'm filming this and I'm making tons of different washcloths and stuff or stocking stuffers people seem to really like that so and there's that uh, metallic yarn I was talking about before um, I did not buy any of this because People have told me it's a little difficult to work with. I didn't really want to deal with it. But like I said before, if you have worked with it and it's not that bad, let me know. Um, it was super soft. I mean, well, <laughs> I believe it says super soft on the label. But it was very soft. So I was kind of disappointed, but I was taking some advice and passing up on it. And there's some Christmas color since it is about Christmas time. Merry Christmas to everybody, by the way. I'm looking forward to spending some time away from work and with the family. And Christmas is very important and fun in our house. And if you haven't seen our Vlogmas number one, go check that out. Um, we go through Christmas decorations. There he is. That is a happy scream, by the way. He's not hurt. <laughs> He's a very rambunctious little boy. So check out that one video. We have uh, our Vlogmas number one. You just get to see all the Christmas decorations in our house and we go overboard. So that yarn there was incredibly soft and that was like perfect for baby products, hats, booties, blankets, whatever. It was incredibly just smooth and soft. I loved those colors. I ended up buying it because I'm going to make something for myself with that. I tend to, you know, I, I like bright colors at times. So I, I was like, I'm definitely going to make myself something of a, probably a beanie or something. And here is some hand dyed yarn. 
they had quite a selection of it. Um, one in particular that caught my eye was this one I'm about to pick up because I absolutely loved the name of it, Roasted Papita. I thought that was hilarious. Um, and I'll go ahead and freeze this real quick so you guys can read this information um, without rushing. But yeah, you get 400 yards and I believe it was $14.99. So with that 30% off discount, I think it's a very good deal. And as you can see, they had tons and tons of different designs and colors. See here, we've got the, the sugar and cream. I ended up buying some of this as well because it was the sugar and, the sugar and cream scrub. So since I am making washcloths for Christmas for stocking stuffers, I thought that'd be a, you know, pretty co cool gift, switch it up a little bit. So I did buy several of the green, the one I have in my hand, I ended up buying that. And the one above it, which you, you probably have to rewind to see it, but it was another kind of scrub yarn. Now that, look at those colors. That is gorgeous. And it was incredibly soft and smooth as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, smooth and soft as well. Now also, please comment down below if you have ever worked with this yarn let me know how it went because i have never really even seen anything like this before i am no yarn expert that's nikki but i have never seen anything like this before and i can see how you can work with it but it was so thin so let me know if you've done anything with that style of yarn before and how will your hands feel while you were working on it So we did make it to the accessory section as well. And as you can see here, Yarnology has their nice little selection of knitting needles. Um, I am not a knitter, so I'm not real sure if $7.99 is a good price for those or not. But considering how everything else was reasonably priced there, I believe it would be. Miss Nikki would have to chime in on that. But they had quite um, the selection for um, knitting needles and crochet hooks and um, ball winders and different organizational tools they had it all there so I know it's Christmas time and people are really buying up stuff and all the crafters are um, making stuff and they know that but they had everything in stock and they had tons of different selections so I was thoroughly impressed with um, what they had and I really need to get something like this because I have all my crochet hooks just in a bag and it can get quite uh, frustrating to not find what I need at times. So there's some more knitting needles. Can't really speak too much on those because I am not the knitter, but I do crochet and those hooks right there caught my eye because my goodness, look at that design. I like the fat body. It fits better in my hands. Um, and the price, $2.99, I can handle that as well. So since I just bought some, I didn't, I just bought some hooks recently and I was like, eh, I don't need to buy any more. But in the future, I do plan on getting some of those. As you can see, the hook, they've got plenty of different selections. And those plastic ones there caught my eye. Don't think I would like it, but I've never tried it, so I might. Who knows? So I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping this up. Um, 
If you like this sort of thing, you know, if you like this video, please hit that like button. I cannot tell you guys how much that helps us when that like button is completely destroyed. Um, and also, please consider subscribing. We're going to have a lot more um, content coming in the very near future. Um, Nikki and I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, close this video out. And oh, real quick, this ball winder. I got that too. I look forward to using it. So, all right. We will see you guys at the next video. Adios.